welcome back to Classy Claws. Today's video is one that's been inspired by the amazing Liz Guild um, using um, a moor and apple shine and some new glitters, the Persian Prince and Jasmine from the Glitter Fairy. Oh my God, they are just beautiful. I've got to stop watching these videos because I end up buying more stuff, don't I? Again, today I've had to buy more monomer, more crystal glass. Um, I've bought Vamp today, which is a new red, so I can't wait for them to come. Anyway, so this set is um, very simple, very easy to do. I'll kind of let you watch it. I didn't um, video any filing, like I don't. This is the... Um, now I don't know which one's which now because they're, they're upstairs. One of them is Jasmine and the other one is the Persian Prince and they just go beautiful together. There's bits of yellow and purples and all sorts of colours in that one I'm putting now on the end. Absolutely stunning. Um, so I put my apple shine down first, then my glitters and then capping crystal glass. And then this next nail is... I think an ombre with apple shine and pink and more. I put some photos on at the end. You can see I've added some gems as well, just to kind of jazz it up a bit. And it was the same as Liz, Liz's. I've tried to kind of do it the same. My thumbnail, I did a, um, what did I do? I did marble and it was rubbish, to be honest. The colors didn't really go very well. so. Uh, I should have thought about that a bit more really but anyway i did it i put my gems on uh sorry filed buffed put my gems on but when i look back now afterwards i look at some, the shape of them and some of the filing it looks really rubbish but they actually look okay in on on the hand but i don't know whether it's the camera angles or whatever but some one of the nails i think it's the ring finger looks like it the sides aren't very straight but anyway i do i apologize for that Look at these glitters. You can use these in so many different sets because they've, they've just got so many different colours in them. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's gorgeous. This nail is a whole glitter nail, so I've just put down some crystal glass first to give it something to stick to. Leave it for a few minutes to set because if you go and put your crystal glass right on the top, you just end up moving the glitter all over the place. So just leave it to set a few, a couple of minutes just in the crystal glass and go on to another nail. I know when I came to encapsulate this one, I had a bit of a nightmare because it was so flat. It just took me ages and ages to get any apex or any shape in it, but I think I did okay in the end, but it was a nightmare. Those glitters are absolutely stunning i'm so glad i bought them and the glitter fairy they're so reasonable in terms of price and postage it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg either so this nail i think is all apple shine apple shine is really easy to use actually really went on lovely you know i work quite wet so it, i don't know why but i do i keep practicing but yeah it went on like a dream it was lovely I did have to go back over a couple of them to kind of put a bit more on because obviously I, I do work wet and bits of it were a bit patchy. So I just went back and just added a bit more. And I did cap them all as well. And I think this is a strength powder, so you don't necessarily have to, but you know, I like to do that anyway. And I think Liz does that as well and a couple of others. It just saves you firing off any of your color, really. But this was, that was a beautiful now. So this is the ombre. I've already put down the apple shine. And then I'm going in with a more and I go in at my seam of where the two colours join. And then one side of it just would not stay in place. So I had to keep going over it and over it and over it until it stayed in place. I got there in the end. But I think I had to go back on this nail and add a bit more green as well. And I think that's what you have to do. You have to just keep going back and forth until you get it how you want it. got another set that I'm doing tomorrow um, and I think she wants oranges and yellow so that's going to be a nice interesting summer one tomorrow so watch this face see that right corner there I have to keep going over it and over it it wasn't having it's really hard to get your blend I think 
I think I got it in the end and then capped it just to keep it. Didn't want to file it all away once I'd got it in place. Those colours are just stunning together. Absolutely beautiful. So I cap this nail now. I'm either too wet or crumbling. One or the other, I can't seem to get it right some days. Anyway. I've got quite a lot covered on that one bead, so I was quite pleased with that. It looks absolutely stunning with the top coat on, I have to say. Just add in some more apple shine there, as you can see, just to kind of give that some more depth. And then just fade that up the nail. I thought the blend looked okay. Look how flat that nail is. Oh, I've gone back onto the other one, just adding a bit more green on there while I'm at it. Very, very thin layers. You know, I work very thinly. And then I, I work thinly on the design and then I cap. This is the marbling. The colours were just wrong. I don't know what happened. I think I needed more pink in it, maybe. Less clear or more green. I don't know what happened. And I put white in, which maybe I shouldn't have done. But if you watch this now, it all just fades into nothing. So it's got no colour in it at all. And then I kind of swirled it around a bit too much and it just went a mucky mess, really. I wasn't impressed with that nail at all. I should have done maybe half glitter ombre or something like that. But it was too late, I'd already started it. Or what I should have done is left the bottom marble and then did the top something else. But no, I just carried on all the way to the top. <laughs> Even though I thought I'd try and bigger beads here thinking that would look a bit better. But it still didn't look any better. Look at that, what a, what a mushy mess. Oh my God, that's hideous. And then it dried all kind of lumpy and bumpy and was quite hard to file, to be honest, by the time I put the top coat on it. Lessons learned, isn't it? You might like it, but I thought it was a bit rubbish. See what you think when it's um, when it's been capped and filed and got the top coat on. You might think it looks okay. I'm trying to add a bit more colour now, look. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? So capping this ombre to keep that blend in place. I love those two colours. I might go for greens the next set on myself. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the flattest nail in the world.
going in with um, a blue sky no wipe top coat and look at that glitter oh my goodness stunning together I've added the crystals as you can see I think most of those were from eBay they were wheels for, I think they were 99 pence a wheel or something like that and a few different colors in them yellows and blues and greens seems a waste really using all the crystals and stuff on Handelina but I mean they're cheap enough aren't they that's gorgeous look at that and this is the full glitter now with the two glitters all that lovely yellow coming through they actually look so much better in real life than they do on the camera the camera doesn't pick up how stunning that glitter actually is and then with these lovely crystals on the nail next door, they just pick, they complement each other lovely. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Share, like, all that kind of stuff, which I ask you every time. Um, we are working our way up to 200, which is brilliant. I would like a few more. So if you could subscribe I would be very very grateful and thank you very much for watching and I will get this yellow and orange set maybe on tomorrow or the next day and um, I might even have a go at my own I don't know yet we'll see thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon bye now bye